Are we all alone? Through the miracle of the internet and the courtesy of YouTube and the Spreaker internet service, a new direction is now being offered to you. And if you take it, you may never be the same. You've now tuned in to a spiritual side of yourself. Now make welcome into your life the good chaplain of the Lighter Than Air Ministries and our series, The Spiritual Side of Cannabis. Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. Thank you. Thank you very so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale, and this is the Lighter Than Air Ministry show entitled The Spiritual Side of Cannabis. Thank you for joining us. You know, we're getting ready for one of the big parties of the year. Years ago, our community of people who were spiritually involved with marijuana was a very seriously cloistered community. We very seldom shared our feelings with people because we were still being arrested for joints. When this ministry started, people were still being taken away for their use, their personal use of marijuana. And the people who sold it suffered terrible consequences. It was a victimless crime, ladies and gentlemen, and they suffered terrible consequences. Jail can be a terrible place. People for one joint in Texas serving five years. We've transcended that now, and the entire United States is now in tune to the Wonder Weed. They found the Wonder Weed can help. It stops crime. It doesn't make crime. Spousal abuse. Air marijuana is never cited. It's always alcohol. Alcohol kills people. People behind the wheel of a car who are drunk are much more of a danger than those who are stoned. This ministry is so concerned with the future of marijuana because legalization is now being debated here in California. And I can tell you I'm a little upset because all the proposals still want to tax the Wonder Weed, want to put a tax on the Wonder Weed for those who are medically in need. Medical marijuana should not be taxed any more than a prescription of any other type. And I do not know why there's this duplicity amongst the legislators. Can't they see the forest for the trees on this one? It's an insult to those of us who are medically in need and who find comfort and relief. We're going to celebrate the Wonder Weed. We're going to be at the NorCal Cannabis Cup. It's happening at the Cow Palace, June 18th and 19th. It's a convocation of like-minded individuals, those who smoke, those who use, those who need. Mota, grass, Mary Jane, whatever you call it. If you're in need and you can receive comfort and relief from your pain, make sure you're there. If you are a caregiver for someone who is in pain, if you're a caregiver for someone with a debilitating disease, MS, Parkinson's, marijuana can help. Make sure you talk to your physician, of course, and that you're not hurting yourself by having it conflict with one of the medicines you're taking. But if you can cut back on just one pill, if you can take a puff and not a pill, you'll last longer and you'll get your sense of humor back. You know, as we've been introducing people at these support groups where we tend to go and tell people that we have an alternative method of pain relief, our take a puff, not a pill campaign. I can only tell you that people tell us all the time that one of the great side effects is that they get their sense of humor back. And if we can just bring that as a ministry, we've done our part. Now we feel that there's another direction and we want to tell you that each and every one of you who knows somebody, each of every one of you that has a nephew, a niece, a neighbor, who's thinking about smoking marijuana for the verse very first time, please, please let them know about our seven minute miracle. Seven minutes of smoking, 53 minutes of listening to your music, the music you love. We have over 300 people using it weekly and I can only tell you that each one of them is doing themselves a wonderful service. If you're smoking more and enjoying it less, why not take this format? 
of seven minutes of smoking and 53 minutes of listening to music and see how much you appreciate the smoke and how much the smoke com complements and enhances the music for you. This wonder weed was put on earth. It has evolved with us, for us, and it's up to us to take advantage of this. The laws put us in jail. The law has done so many things, but this victimless crime, marijuana use, is even sanctioned. If you're sick, remember that you have a legal right to this. Don't let the stigma get you. There's even methods of using it without an odor. You'll be the only person who knows, and you'll be better for it. I'm here in the music sanctuary after a morning of sharing and invoking the power of music and suggesting and advocating for the perfect pairing of music and marijuana. The power of music, well documented. The power of marijuana, well documented. And I want you to know this one thing, that there is very few manifestations of the spirit in life. In my over half a century, I can tell you that I only on occasion looked the spirit directly in the eye. Well, the physical manifestation of your spirit is found in that feeling you feel when you get high. It's a wonderful sacrament for yourself. Use it to your advantage. If we can help you, we will. Go to our website. Drop us a line. We're here for you. And we'll see you all, I hope, June 18th and 19th at the High Times Magazine sponsored NorCal Cannabis Cup at the Cow Palace. As we used to say, be there or be square. This is Chaplain Hale thanking you for listening, thanking you for watching here on our Lighter Than Air Ministries channel. See you next week. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the end of this week's moment in time with the Lighter Than Air Ministries and the spiritual side of cannabis. Join us next week. Till then, we say good night. <laughs>